Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Let me just turn this off. All right, so welcome back to another video of mine. And for this week's video, I'm gonna show you guys the tutorial. But before that, um, if you guys have watched my last video, I got a camera body from my Lolo. And so I finally got some lens. So I got these lens like yesterday. And they have been really nice to me. Like, they've been so kind. <laughs> uh, let me just get the lens cover so that I don't get any dust. Alright, I got it. Now, this is a, an original Canon, I'm sure. Um, this is just a second hand, but it works pretty great. Like, there's not even any fungus or anything. So, that's really good. It, it wasn't even dirty or anything. So, um... Well, I guess that explains because um, the reason for selling was not using anymore, so probably why. But yeah, so this is the camera body, and if you guys don't know, this is the Canon Rebel XDI or the 400D as some people know it. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to, if I can find it, okay, there it is, okay. Um, I'm going to show you guys... A tutorial on how to place your lens and how to put it off I mean how to take it how to how to take your lens off and how to put it back on so let me just <laughs> all right guys so I don't have the table right now so I don't really have I have my tripod and stuff but I don't have something to have an overhead view so sad but I'll just do it this way hopefully I don't struggle and yeah so this is how your camera is going to look like if you have the lens on. And I'm just going to show you guys quickly on how to take it off. So you're going to want to press this button. This is applicable for all interchangeable. Yes! A few moments later. I'm so sorry about that. But I'm pretty sure this is applicable to all interchangeable Canon cameras. I'm not sure though, my old DSLR that I don't have anymore, um, it was also like this, so I'm pretty sure. And I, and on videos, when I watch camera videos, it's also like that, so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but yeah, so you're going to want to press it, don't let go. And you're going to want to turn it slowly. Twenty minutes later. Alright, so this is how your camera is going to look like. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lock this so that I don't keep moving it. Alright, so you're going to want to press this, this button over here. Now, to make sure it doesn't fall. Especially if you have a heavy lens. Twist it slowly and make sure you're holding it well. There we go. Face this down. So that dust doesn't go in it. I have my lens cover over here. Now this is especially when you're going to change lens. If you're just adjusting it, then I, I guess you don't want to put this anymore. But if you're going to change lens or keep this in stock first, like in your storage, then you can do that. And this is it. And there we go. So it's so much lighter now, I know this. Because the lens is quite heavy. If you guys don't... If I did say it already, this is the three hundred. This is the seventy-five to three hundred millimeter lens. It'll focus. There we go. Um, wait, where is it? So yeah, so that's it. All right. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to how it is when you put it on. So you're going to want to open this up, facing down again. I don't even know if it's effective, but I just do it just to be sure. Take your the back of your lens off, I mean like the, the um, cap, and then here I'm going to flip it up just so that you guys can see. So if you guys see this red dot, and there's also a red dot on the camera, you're gonna wanna align those together and click. So I'm gonna do it again just so that you guys can hear the click. Here it is. 
there we go and yeah, so now I'm just gonna put on the lens hood so that it doesn't get um, damaged and now you're free to take <laughs> I just realized I didn't take off the lens cover this is the lens cover by the way you just press these two these two on the sides these two on the sides and then here's the lens now you are all ready to shoot now I have a hat I have a really heavy lens so to stabilize it well I'm going to hold it like this so that it doesn't randomly fall off. I mean, not fall off. I mean, like, it doesn't shake a lot. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And there you go. That's how you get your video. I mean, your photo. Now, this camera of mine doesn't have video settings. So, you can't take video. You cannot take videos. Also, this is an EF lens. I'm not sure. I think the EFS lens works on this camera too, but um, I'm using the EF lens, so I'm not really sure. Really shaky, but yeah, there you go. That is how you use this lens. I mean, how you use. How you put on lens on your camera and I'm gonna put some sample photos from this lens if you guys want to um, are interested in buying it um, again this is a second hand so it's not really I don't really have a link for it but you guys can just search up um, 35 to 300 millimeter lens EF and EF lens Canon there or yeah so I I'm using a Canon camera so I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to search but yeah but I actually didn't find that by searching that I just searched EF lenses because I was looking for a lens because I couldn't I didn't have a lens because this was just a body but now I have lens and it's really good um the only thing about it that I don't like is I have to go really far from my subject so that I can take a photo because um it starts with 75 millimeters so it's quite near to your subject so you gotta go and back up a little just so that you can you know but otherwise it's a really good lens i got it for a good deal and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm gonna try to film a video soon because i had a photo shoot photo shoot this camera um just around my house so it's, it might be boring i don't know if i'm gonna make a video about that but yeah also about this um i'm gonna put the I'm going to put the photos here in the end, but this is my outro now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I post, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!